Hi, I'm Karina, co-founder of Rebound Hounds. Introducing your foster dog to new people in your home can be fun and easy. Some dogs might be a little shy while others get overexcited, but with a little training and patience, intros can be positive and allow your foster to make that great first impression, a really important step as they meet potential adopters. When your foster dog first meets new people, they may be happy or eager to play, which is great. However, you still need to remain in control. This is where basic obedience can help prevent jumping and barking. Knowing basic commands like sit, stay, down, and place will help focus your dog's attention and also calm them. When your guest arrives, have your dog on a leash and in a sit. When your guest enters, have them ignore your foster, sit down, and settle. Ignore him for a second. You can come on in and have a seat. Use a soft and happy voice when introducing your dog to your guests and let your dog approach and sniff your guest if they want. Praise and reward them if they approach calmly. It's important that you understand your foster dog's body language. Signs of stress and fear include ears back, tail tucked, lip licking, and eyes darting. If your dog seems comfortable and isn't showing any fearful body language, it's okay to have your guest hold a treat beneath the dog's chin or drop it on the floor. If your foster dog is lunging, barking, or growling, distract them and bring them into another room until they can relax. Keep the interaction short about three to five seconds long. If your dog seems uncomfortable, give them a break and have them sit about five to 10 feet away. You can have your guests toss them treats to help create a positive association. Don't force your foster dog to be petted or touched if they're showing any fearful body language. Don't put your face close to the dog's face or ear. Never crowd them or let anyone lean over them or hug them. Don't hold their muzzle shut and don't tug them by their collar to meet new people. If any guest is fearful or anxious around dogs, it's probably best for the dog and the guest if they avoid interaction. Keep your practice session short and fun. Ask your friends and family to come over to help reinforce positive interactions. Pretty soon your foster dog will love having new people visit. Meeting new people is part of the adoption process and an essential step in helping your foster find its forever home. Train your foster to greet new people calmly and successfully, and you'll be helping them put their best paw forward. Thanks and happy fostering.